Okay, so we're going to put the chickens away for the night. Hey, girls, you hungry? Hey, girls. Come on, girl. Look, there's one. Come on, girl, you hungry? Come here. All right, give them a little call. It's a little sip right here. But uh, give them a little call, and uh, whoever's not in here come running. Throw some food in there. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Get in there. Get in there. I'm trying to come out here. Alright, so as you can see, right here, raccoon's been trying to dig. And it's been raining, so you can't tell, but this is all loose dirt here. Alright, this is all from the uh, raccoon kicking stuff around. Some of them are already ready for bed. The old, these are all the old ladies. One, two, three, four. She's not old. And uh, they like to... Uh, oh, there you go. Come on, girl. There you go. They like to uh, perch up and get to bed early. So Now, this thing, depending on the night, whether the weather... Whether it closes or not. So the raccoon was trying to get in there. And then luckily last night, this rock happened to be in the way and he couldn't open the pen, but he's definitely trying. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Damn it, we're missing a chicken. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, they're here. This is the old lady is behind the rooster. See the black and white one? That's the one I couldn't see at first. Okay, let me close her in here and we're gonna get to that raccoon. Okay, yeah, get them in here nice and tight. Make sure everything's closed. I'm sorry if the video's going wrong. I wasn't really kind of trying to pay attention to two things at once. And it's raining. All right, so now I stick a metal bar here and then a rock. And believe it or not, the raccoon will move that rock and that bar. And then come over here and start digging. Raccoon's too stupid for some reason to go around because I, I don't see why they couldn't get in over there or something. Okay, so they're, they're all getting ready for bed, so they don't even really want to eat, which is unusual because there's still daylight. So usually they eat. So now it's a little dark, but you can see there's a bunch of feathers. When we go out there, you'll see there's a bunch more, but I kicked a lot of the stuff, a lot of all this mulch and stuff over them because I didn't want any of the chickens eating any of the intestines or anything. Because believe it or not, they'll dig right in there and they'll eat, chickens will eat chickens. All right? And some people are okay with that. I don't personally like to do that. So this is where the chickens getting over, or the raccoons getting over right here. What he's doing is what he did right here. He's bending the fence, climbing up. I think he was climbing on that tree. There it goes. I think he was climbing on that tree, climbing up, and then jumping across, landing over here, landing on the fence and getting in. But I'm not sure because he sure as hell is getting right back out. So I stuck some of these poles in here and make it a little more difficult. It didn't matter. He was in here last night. Okay, so... I don't know if he's going around to different spots. I don't know if he's climbing on the tree. But uh, last night I saw him out my window. And I couldn't get the window open in, in order to uh, get to him. But uh, hopefully he ain't going to make it through the night tonight. Okay, so uh, come over here. And then I just kind of latch my uh, door here. Right, and it holds it up. And then I throw some rocks here. All right, onto the fence. And at the very least, I want it to be difficult for him to get in there. I'm assuming him just because, you know, that's how I am. So, last night I set up a trap right here, okay? And uh, put it right here because this is where he's been getting over. Okay, so I put it right here. I want it, to be, I want it to be nice and level. I want it to be able to action. 
okay. Oh, I got a nice spider on there. See it? There it is. There it is. Get out of there. Alright, so lift up the latch and this will move. And pull this up. Alright, and then right here, I got my finger. I'm sorry it's not focusing. But, uh, just put the, there we go. Okay, put the little wire under the latch. And the bar comes down, and when he steps on that piece there, that's when he's going to get caught. So now, got a screwdriver. Got cat food because I couldn't get to the store. I don't have a cat, but I couldn't get to the store and uh, get sardines, but this will work. So now, what I'm going to do, open this can up. Just like a quarter of the way. Okay, I want him to be able to get in there. But I have to dig in there. I want it to be difficult for him to pull that food out of there so that he's going to have to really work for it. All right, and while he's working for it, he's going to move around and hopefully he's going to step on that trigger. So, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take that cat food, I'm going to take that screwdriver, and I'm going to jam it in here, and I'm going to try to make a hole here. So I'm going to have to pause the video because I'm going to need two hands, but I'm going to stab a hole in there. Okay, now, I stabbed the hole in there. Unfortunately, the can went in a little more than I wanted it to, but hopefully this will still work. So now what I'm going to do is stick this wire right through the can okay now this is the only wire I had so this is actually just a wire to wire up your house it's a 12 2 wire and just pull the piece out of there alright so now I'm gonna pull this through and now what I want to do is I want the juices to spill in here and around here as I'm uh, putting this in and that way the raccoons gonna smell all that and hopefully they're gonna come running now all right what some people do is uh, all right like see here's a stick right here all right now I can put the stick in here and that stick is gonna keep this trap from trapping on my arm all right it's not a big deal it's not like a trap that's gonna squeeze your arm but you know, you want it to stay in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach all the way into the back here with this. And I'm going to wire it up to the fence. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now after a little bit of doing, because my arm's barely long enough. As you can see, some of the juices drip right on there. Alright, some of that's rust. But anyway, so now what I did was I twist tied it on the back here. A little bit, a little bit, bit of that juice, uh, get everywhere and make a mess of my hands and everything. You know, getting wet out here, but that's what you got to do to protect your animals here. So now, what I'm hoping is when that raccoon comes into the pen. Sorry, I got sticks falling on me here. Got to remember to take my stick out here because otherwise the trap ain't gonna close. Okay, so. Now hopefully what's going to happen is the raccoon's going to go in here and he's going to be wrestling with that can and as he's wrestling with it, he's going to get stuck on it. He's going to step on that trigger. He's going to close the gate. And he's going to get stuck in here. And I'm going to come out here and I'm going to take care of him. Alright, so that's how I do around here. I have a heart. So hopefully the chickens make it through the night because he's getting more and more conniving and uh, he's been coming every night and hopefully there's just one but usually there's more than one. Okay so hopefully before he decides to go up where he normally goes to go into the into the run he's going to decide oh wait there's an easy meal and I'm going to go in there. So even though last night's fried chicken didn't work it actually was a good thing I would assume because now He's going to be real comfortable going inside of there. 
Okay, so the chicken's ready for bed early tonight. So we'll see what happens. I'll make another video of me uh, coming down in the morning and hopefully got a raccoon in there. But stay tuned. Thanks for watching.